Okay, let's talk about concluding. And we have a nice little chart here. After summarizing your presentation's main points, state a strong conclusion. The conclusion should not repeat your summary. Quickly list the main points, how the main points add up to have one strong meaning. So here, what we're saying is there's a kind of flow, right? We're not going to repeat the summary. The summary kind of put everything together. But now we're saying from that summary, we've got point one and point two and point three and point four. All of these together are making my main point. So we're reminding the audience, the things I just said, maybe the things I said was kind of boring, but let me quickly put them all together and you can see this all adds up to my main point. A good conclusion uses logic to build up step by step. Always plan your conclusion beforehand. At the end of your presentation, start the conclusion. Planning is the key to a strong conclusion. This conclusion sounds like it should be easy because it's your main point, right? But it's not that easy unless you have a good plan. How you want to bring it all together. Not just say, oh, my conclusion is my main point. I'm done. Goodbye. You really need to bring the points together. A plus B plus C equals my conclusion. And that's my main point. For your conclusion, you may use some small notes to assist you. Like here we can see in the picture. She has her notebook out. She's maybe looking at some papers or some note cards. That's quite okay. In fact, that's one way to let the audience see that you're coming to a conclusion. It's a way to send a signal that you're getting towards the end. And you need to look at your notes to kind of make your conclusion list again. That's okay. Holding notes gives the audience the feeling that the information being presented is important and systematic. Be sure to keep eye contact with members of the audience, occasionally glancing at your notes. So it's okay to go ahead and bring out the notes, but you want to make sure that you keep looking at the audience. You can look at your note and then look up at the audience. Right? Don't forget that. Otherwise, people will think you're confused. For these reasons, I have concluded that. It's an example phrase. There is no doubt that these findings support. As we have just seen, the evidence points to Obviously, the facts show, that should be show. Should not have an S there, that's a mistake. Obviously, the facts show. So the facts are the things I just talked about summing up my list. So I have a list of maybe three things, A and B and C, these together show. As we've just seen, what did we just see? We just saw my A, B, C. I listed them again. I summarized them. These findings, these A, B, C right here. For these reasons, these A, B, C, the things I just listed, which are kind of a repeat of what I had at the beginning of my presentation in my outline. 
While I have studied all possible variables, it now appears that we conclude. So all the variables is my list. Unquestionably, the historical review shows the importance moving into this market within the year. Overall, the facts support. Although we don't have all the information, it appears at this point we must. So these are again coming to our conclusion. This is what we found. This is what we need to do. This is our coming up to make a recommendation. In conclusion, we are left with two valid options. The evidence clearly points toward a future research direction that centers on Without a doubt, these financial results mean Although these findings are complex, I believe a trend can be seen that On the whole, we can now conclude that I feel completely confident in concluding that After more than two years of research, we are now prepared to state. You can see that many of these concluding phrases are interesting because they make the research a little bit personal. They say something like, after I've worked on this for two years, we have found that. All of this information we collected shows that. This helps to make the audience feel you have some interest or some uh, importance or a role that you play inside this research or inside this company. So it's okay to be personal. In fact, it helps to have that personal feeling. I've just mentioned some of the issues surrounding this company. In any case, it is now clear that Each of the points I've just covered may not seem important. However, when taken together, we can conclude that. For all these reasons, and many I have not mentioned, the conclusion is. Of course, here you can see very clearly we're using the word conclusion over and over again, right? Conclude. Conclusion. It is now clear. That's the same as conclusion. 